we travel halfway across the world to another island in paradise. We did a lot in just seven days. We got to experience Hawaii's unique surroundings from up high on a volcanic crater to the coral reefs below and some of the beaches and land in between. Hi and welcome to our channel Aqua Blue. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notifications when new videos come out. Now back to the video. We flew into Honolulu Airport on the island of Oahu, where we rented a jeep and drove to Ko'olina, which is 17 miles away. I just expected rainforest and tropical views everywhere, but Honolulu is the most populated city in Hawaii. Once we got to the west side and away from the big city, it looked more like a Hawaiian vacation. Tons of palm trees and lush landscaping and flowers. We stayed at the Four Seasons Resort Oahu at Koalina, located on the shores of Oahu's western coast. This five-star resort feels like an oasis. Koalina actually means place of joy in Hawaiian. So of course we enjoyed our stay here. The staff are incredibly nice and helpful with anything you need. You are greeted with smiles, of course, as you walk into the lobby. We checked into our room and had a balcony with a great view. The Four Seasons is a five-star resort with fine dining and plenty of places to lounge and relax. It is family friendly with multiple pools, but there is one adults only pool, quite secluded if you want a quieter experience. Just beyond the infinity pool is the perfect location for weddings and other events, with a great view of the ocean and the Waianae mountain range in the distance. The private beach and lagoon provide plenty of options for activities. Hawaii is known for its snow cones, so we had to try one. Dream sickle. Gotta make the dreams work. <laughs> what? <laughs> what about napkins? You need some napkins? Got us some shaved ice. It's pretty good. Very sweet. Ooh, sugar. <laughs> There is some snorkeling in front of the resort if you follow a path that leads to a small beach. Is he alive or is he uh, sleeping? Who? What is going on? <laughs> and yes, we were lucky enough to see a monk seal. It is the official state mammal of Hawaii. They are rare to see since they are critically endangered. He seems, is he alive? Yeah. Oh, he just, okay. He just napped him. He's oh like my moving gosh. out here and there. And I was like, what? Okay. He just like rolled yeah. over. He just rolled over and... Oh my gosh, that's crazy. There's a turtle, there's a turtle floating around out there. Uh -huh. I think this one may snooze here regularly. And here's a few facts about monk seals I found interesting. These seals are considered living fossils, meaning they've existed for millions of years with minimal changes. They can dive to depths of over 1,800 feet and hold their breath for up to 20 minutes. 
Walking the rest of the hotel grounds is very tropical and serene with all the lush plants and koi ponds. I originally thought it was just the resort staff that were amazing. But later when we left the resort and were in town, everyone we encountered seemed really happy and super friendly. It must be part of the culture. It was very refreshing and made the trip that much more wonderful. We spent a couple days diving, of course. There are videos on the Sea Tiger Wreck and Electric Beach if you're interested in diving. We also dove the Mahi Wreck on the west side of the island, which I am putting a special video together for that also, which will be out in the future. A popular activity to do is climb Diamond Head State Monument. It is a volcanic crater that has great coastal views, which overlooks the city of Honolulu. Entry and parking reservations are required for non-residents, so you have to book a time to hike the trail since parking is limited. On the way into the park, you get to drive through a tunnel, which gets you into the crater. The hike was an easy two miles or so. It ascends quickly with several switchbacks that lead to steep stairs. Want to race up the stairs? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going anyway. There you go. Faster. Faster. I am too. And you go through a lighted tunnel to enter the fire control station which was completed in 1911. Wow. Oh, this is high. It took us two hours round trip. I brought my drone and trekked it all the way up there, but drones aren't allowed. Oh shit, no yep. drones. Told it's a 360 view once you get to the top. Unfortunately, it was a bit of an overcast day, but we stopped at a local beach and watched some of the surfers. We stopped at Kaiwakui Beach, which is a quiet park overlooking Mauna Loa Bay. I apologize if I mispronounce those. We drove around and explored the island and got to see a fancier neighborhood near Waikiki Beach. I have a relative that lives on the big island, so we flew into Hilo to see my aunt. Time to meet your spirit, mother. <laughs> <laughs> she gave us a grand tour of the northeastern side of the island. Population of wild donkeys. Donkeys? <laughs> drove through mountains, and I never knew there was desert in Hawaii. We stopped at a local beach spot, Waialea Beach. Here, find a little spot. Cool. Take a little dip in the water. It felt like a hidden cove. The last stop was our favorite. There is a road closed off with overgrown rainforests and it just looked like we were in Avatar. It was gorgeous. The park is actually the site of an old sugar mill. I love the sound of the ocean waves crashing. It was a very serene place. We flew in just for the day on Hawaiian Airlines. The flight was about an hour and there are multiple flights a day available. We were able to book our tickets the day before. Our last full day was quite rainy, so we went to Pearl Harbor. A 
I'm glad we went because it's an important part of our country's history. There is a sadness in the air because of what took place, so it didn't feel right to film that experience. But I did take some pictures of the USS Bofin Museum, which is a World War II submarine. It was crazy to see the size of the torpedoes that were used. In the submarine memorial section, we noticed a few that went down in the Florida Keys. So I wonder if we could dive one of these. Something to look into for the future. So that was our trip, the Four Seasons at Oahu, climbing Diamond Head, diving on the south and west side of the island, and exploring some of Hilo on the Big Island. Have you been to Hawaii? Do you have a favorite island or excursion you recommend doing while in Hawaii? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to look for my video on the Mahi Wreck in the future. I think it will surprise you. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. <laughs>